Hi everybody, Nigel here from Nigel's Modeling Bench and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, please hit that like and subscribe. Um, if you have already subscribed, great, thank you very much. Uh, big numbers now, heading for four and a half thousand now, so uh, really, really good in such a short amount of time. So what have I got for you today? This is the Eddard Big 2402 and it's the big Ed set for the um, Airfix 124 scale Typhoon car door. Now, if, if, some, if you're regular to my channel, you'll know that we do things called build alongs. At the moment, we're doing a 148 scale Typhoon from Eddard, which is awful. Um, we're doing a 148 scale Junkers 88 from Ravel, which is actually made by ICM. And that's having a few little issues as well. It's a lovely kit, beautiful molding, lovely plastic, but a few little fit issues with that one. And um, But we're, we're getting on with both of those. And I intend to get another video up for at least one of them for you today. Uh, today is Saturday, the 27th of July, 2019. So why am I doing this? Because it's our next build along. And one of my subscribers, a gentleman called David uh, from Florida, he decided that he would send me this. Now, wow, <laughs> he's basically donated this to the channel for the build along. This retails for about 68 quid in the UK. So, um, yeah, it's no small donation. So uh, thank you very much, David. And I hope to do it uh, justice. So I thought I'd do a quick review just so you can see what's in here. Um, if you are new to Photo Etch, maybe the, the big head set may be a little daunting, but what I'll do is I'll go through each set individually and you can choose what you want to do. Um, but what I would say, 24 scale, everything's quite big. If you've, if you've done the, um, the Eddard Typhoon with me, you'll know about the levers and the, on the instrument panel and all that stuff. You know, it's absolutely crazy, crazy, tiny little stuff, bits and pieces. So, so basically the 24 scale stuff is, is a bit better. So, Let's have a look what's in here and then uh, we'll go through all the sets and you can see what what you decide. You may decide not to bother with any of it. So let's just get it all out. And what you've got basically is a is a boatload of um, a photo. Act. So I'm hoping I've got all this in the right order because what I've basically done is printed out all the instructions. So when you get these sets, you basically get I'll show you what this is the interior set, say. So what you get is and there. Pretty much every Eddard photo etch set is the same in the format style. You get a sheet of photo etch, and then you also get a sheet of instructions like this. Okay, so this one's double sided. All right. If you go onto the Eddard website or you go onto Scale Mates, you can download the instructions and print them out and do them in A4, which is so much better. So that's what I do. And what I'll do is I'll put these to one side over here to get these out of the, out of the shot. And what we'll do is we'll start and we'll do one bit at a time. Now what I've done, I've gone in and printed the instructions out in A4. So you can see it's a lot clearer, a lot bigger to see. And it's better to have beside you. Um, if you are a beginner and you are new to this, I would advise what you do is you get these sets, go through your instructions and where there's a part, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that in a minute. But basically this is the masking set. So you can see we've got masks for the main wheels, masks for the tail wheels. And then we've got these masks here. I'm not exactly sure what that is there, but uh, I'm sure it'll come clear. Um, then we've got masks for the main canopy. And you've got what you get with this is you go around all the edges with these. You can see these shapes and then you use a liquid mask. Now you can use something like this, which is not very good at all. Or you can use the. Um, where's the uh, Mr. One here? I thought I had it here, but I can't see it. You can get the Mr. Hobby one, which is um, which is also which is, well, very good. You see me using that. It's like a darker green color. I thought I had it here, but I can't see it on the bench. Um, so yeah, what they're saying is use liquid mask in the main areas. Um, so there we go. I'm not going to bother opening these because there's nothing really much to show you. It's just a set of pre-cut um, masks in kabuki tape, and they are they are very good. Um, they usually fit extremely well. So uh, that's that. That's the masking set. And then we're going to move on to the seat belts, which are steel. Now I've never used. The Edward steel seat belts. 
let's get these out and have a look. Um, apparently, I did speak to Ed Art at um, the uh, Scale Model World this year, and I asked what the big thing was with steel, and apparently it's because they can make them so much thinner. Now let's have a look and see how thin these are. I seem to have a magnet stuck to my... Uh, Yeah, they're they're about three thou thick, so that's cool. Um, and apparently, because they're thinner, you can bend them and fold them into the right shapes easier. And they also, if you look at them closely, you can see they've got like a three D effect to them almost. So they probably look quite nice. I think I might use them. Um, I wouldn't. I don't generally like photo etch seat belts from anyone. I'd rather use the HGW type. But uh, you know, we've got to give things a go. And as this has been pledged and donated, I feel I should use it. So there's the instructions for those. Basically simple. Um, there's obviously four. I haven't even looked in my box yet. The kit um, A, C, D, and B. There's obviously four versions in the kit. So you've got different seat belts for different versions. Also, we've got different seats as well. Um, yeah, so we've got a different seat back there, so you've got different belts, you've got the harness mounting onto the rear of the fuselage there, whereas with this one it goes down behind the seat. So um, yeah, it's just basically telling you how to use the kit parts, and if you are new to this, where it says red, it's cut it off, remove it. Um, the blue is the photo etch parts, if you see any green that's filling, and where it's black it's the original kit parts, but I'll go through that in a minute. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the seat belts, all very simple. Then we're going to move on to the interior. Um, and this is the one you've already seen. Let's get this up close for you. And there you can see you've got all the photo etch on there, which is your, your, your basically your main panels for your levers and everything. And you've got some other bits and pieces. I'm not sure what they are there yet. And then we've got some piping. So there's a lot of useful stuff in there. When you do get these sets, you don't have to use all of it. For example, um, I'm just repeating Phil Flory here. These rings here, they go on the instrument panel here. Well, it's just as easy to paint those on there. Usually with NR sets, you get a complete instrument panel, but with this set, you don't. You're still using the Airfix instrument panel, which is um, very nice. Now, I'm going to be using the Airscale instrument panel um, with mine it's just basically a new set of decals it's not a full like you see all the Hellcat it's not a full um, instrument panel it's just a new set of decals for it and you get all the stencils around the cockpit as well which is nice so I'll be using this you've got things like levers here uh, more levers here you've got um, panels and then you've got the cabling for the control column you may choose to use lead because in 24 scale um, a sort of 2D piece of brass is is a bit square. If you want to use this, what I would suggest is dip it in some varnish, let it dry, give it a couple of dips in varnish, and it will soften the edges and make it more oval shape rather than just a, a flat uh, sort of rectangle shape. Um, so there we go. There's all those bits and pieces going on there, and some little gauge instrument covers and that, and um, knobs and bits and pieces, pull T handles, all very nice. And we've got here some more levers. Um, I'm not sure what that is, if that's a battery or something, I don't know. And then we've got another lot of levers here with more control knobs and stuff. And then it's showing us here. Um, oh, that's okay. There. So when you actually look at this, you can look at the seat belts. Okay. And you can see here, it's telling you to use the plastic part. But here you don't use the plastic part at all. So if you've got this and the seat belts, you're not going to use the plastic at all. So um, there we go. And then we've got the, oh, that's what those bits there. That's the interior framework for the, uh, for the car door. And obviously you've got the framework on both sides. So that's a very nice touch. If you want to just model your, display your model with the door open, you've got all this beautiful interior framework on here to go around the inside of there, which is, uh, which is a very nice touch indeed. And these panels here as well with the, because apparently it even had like a wind down window in the side. So, um, but looking at the kit, it must have been a nightmare to get in and out of. But, uh, so there we go. That's the interior. That's one I would recommend because, um, come here. That's one I would recommend 
because of all the extra bits and levers and stuff and all this detail around the car door interior so yes I would recommend that one highly um, now this is the engine set so we can see here what we've got we'll get this one out you've basically got a load of framework some mesh another bit of framework on the side on, on the back and what this is this is the interior framework for the actual um, engine covers so if you're going to display your engine with the covers off and have it open then when you have the covers down you could actually have them led on their backs and you'll see all this photo etched detail and stuff all this ribbing on the inside face of them which is uh, which is a nice touch and also you've got um, I don't know why they're telling you to cut those off I tell you to cut it off there as well um, you've got this part here which is I'm assuming is a former that the um, that the, the cowl goes over and I tell you to remove this molded on detail and add these little photo etched brackets so that's all going to look much better and then this end you've got all this little sort of frame that's all riveted bolted together whatever and that's going to look much better um, and then we've got the mesh grill going on um, watch your versions I don't believe all the versions had this so yeah be careful because I don't think all the versions had a mesh over the grill on the front had a, a mesh grill at the front um, check your references and then you've got the interior framework going on for more panels there and on the actual main sort of top cowl part there and some bits of detail going on as well so um, yeah it's going to be a nice touch if you want to display your model with the engine exposed and the um, you know and the, uh, the the panels actually on the floor or on the back of a truck or something so that'll look quite good uh, here we've got the biggie this is the flap set now I will definitely be using these because I love Eddard flap sets um, they're not for the beginner they're not for the novice they are fairly involved you're gonna need folding equipment you won't get away with the pliers with these things um, and basically you can see if I get the instructions here You'll also notice I've got it says up here one of four, two of four, three of four. I always look through because quite often the last sheet is just advertising the other sets. So there's obviously no point in printing that out. So um, you can see what we've got here. You've got to take number two, which is that one there. So put it the right way round as you're looking at on the instructions. So you're going to take that one there, fold the back lip up. Then you've got these little tiny flanges on the side here of these ribs which are marked with dotted lines and you've got to fold that one in but all the others go over that way so this one's going to fold over to the left and then all these others are going to fold over to the right so um then you then you actually come along and you twist all these so they all stand up what well, actually no you don't you leave them all flat so you're going to bend that one down and you're going to bend all these other ones up i think that's what they're showing you there and then you're going to come along and bend the ends over to give you this circular shape here then you're going to bend these up twist them 90 degrees so they're all facing upright and then you fold them over and then what you got at the back then between this bent up back piece here you're going to put your plastic rod of 2 mil length 56 mil and that's going to be your actual main sort of pivot at the, at the front of the flap um, so when you got your flaps hanging down what you'll see is all this lovely photo action riveting the recessed panels um, the thin ribs everything looking absolutely in scale and realistic rather than chunky plastic it's going to look really really nice and then you do more of the same on the other flaps which are just bigger and you've got some little detail pieces going on there and then we've got um, this is the detail that's going into the wing so what we're going to do is yeah we're going to add basically remove all this plastic detail from the, all this plastic moldings from here to give us that sort of shape then we're going to add these to the add that to the wing and then glue on these panels here which are your if you pick the model up and look underneath that's what you'll see and then you'll add your flaps if you can imagine this is the wing upside down so um yeah all in all this is my if, if there's one set you're going to get this is what I would get but if you're a beginner probably steer clear you'll, you'll 
you're probably well you will struggle with this and I will be soldering this in place as well so that'll be um, something for you to see um, in fact maybe I won't be soldering it. I don't know because you've got this this idea with this tube going in normally what I would do is bend these up and then just put a drop of solder at each top corner and it will actually hold it together that way but um, maybe I won't be soldering we'll see so basically that's uh, that's the flap set so very very nice indeed and then finally what we've got here is a lovely little set if you're going to have your gun bays exposed um, I think this is probably worth getting as well it's uh, it's a lovely set of detail for the inner wing now earlier on I said about marking your instructions when you get any of these sets go through this with a fine tooth comb and look at where it's calling for the parts you're going to use so like here we've got N, N15, N14, N13, N12 um, and make a mark in your instructions just put a red P by there or something so that when you come to use them you know you've got to do some work because if you go on and build the assembly using this part you may find you physically can't come in after and fit the PE um, and I think this is a perfect example I'm sure this is the one of the wing spars that's going to go in I think this is actually the first step of your instructions now if you think well this is the car door wings armament set I won't, I'll just put this to one side and I don't need it until I come to doing the wing box well you've got to do some work here on the first part of the build so this is what I'm saying make sure you put notes in your instructions everywhere you're going to be adding PE everywhere you've got to cut something off everywhere you've got to sand something down or whatever so that's my main tip for you um, so then basically what we're going to do then is come along and build our ammo boxes so we've actually got photo etched ammo boxes so you could dent these up a little bit and bang them about and make them look real and used and proper bent about and everything rather than thick chunks of plastic and here again you've got this little framework at the front and that again is folded up from photo etch and it's just going to look real because in real life these would have been folded up aluminium boxes and these are folded up brass boxes so once they've got a paint of coat, a coat of silver paint on them they're just going to look so realistic it's untrue and again so much better than molded plastic so there we go guys that is the Eddard Big Ed set and all the individual sets within it for the Hawker Typhoon Mark 1B car door now when it comes to doing the build along if you want to do the ordinary Mark 1B not the car door absolutely fine both kits I think are identical except for one sprue and I think it's only the fact there's a clear sprue that gives you a different canopy and a different and obviously the door so you're going to be replacing one of the plastic panels on the side of the fuselage with a door um, or maybe both I don't know maybe it's got doors on both sides um, and then with the with the Mark 1B you're going to be just building it as a, a normal sort of typhoon with a bubble top canopy probably slid back to display the cut the uh, the interior so there we go that's that um, again thank you very much to David for donating this absolutely I mean I'm getting a few bits and pieces sent to me lately and it's uh, it's very nice of you guys thank you very very much um, and it's very much appreciated um, if you are into these 24 scale models and particularly the typhoon and everything keep your eyes open I have got a review coming up for you for some accessories that you're going to absolutely love hopefully in the next couple of days so thanks for watching if you've liked this please give me a like and as I say if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button there's lots of interesting stuff to see um, and if you want to ask any questions or send me any comments knifeofmodelingbench at gmail.com and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon bye for now